Well, we've done something wrong. All right, guys, we're gonna keep it kind of simple today. So it seems like nearly every time that I go out in the car at this point, uh, <laughs> it's, I see police everywhere. They've, uh, they've got a new favorite spot right below our house um, with a little speed trap <clears throat> set up. Uh, last time, riding out on the uh, on the four lane. I mean, they had, they had three of them set up between here and the, and the next town over. So, <clears throat> um, I decided to go ahead and get me a, a radar detector to throw in the car, just to, uh, you know, to try to keep getting a ticket if I can help it, right? So I uh, did some, looked at some reviews, ended up going with this uh, S, uh, Escort Max uh, 360C. Felt like it had a bunch of features uh, that were pretty interesting. The, I've been using it actually this week in, in my daily, and the cool thing about it, is it, it like that speed trap more of the signs you know that you pass by telling you your speed um once it it passes by that thing a couple of times and realizes that it, it's gonna alert every time you go by um it's then got to where it learns that and it doesn't go off every time so if you're frequenting a, a, a particular uh, shopping area and the doors are setting off the, the alarm. Same thing, it, it, it picks that up and then after a couple of times it, it won't do that anymore. So um, that was one of the things, I had an app um, where it would basically lock in any areas where, <clears throat> let's say you pass by a, a speed trap and you know you get with, hit with a laser, it, it sets a, a GPS kind of a point there. So if you're using the app during that same time, um, it would alert you on the app. So uh, for me, I didn't want to do a suction cup mount that it came with. Um, so instead I decided to buy one of these mirror mounts. So on Mustang, it's gonna be a mirror mount. Um, this has basically got a magnetic mount on it so it'll, it'll clip right in the, in the place right below the, uh, right below the mirror. And then it had this, uh, this uh, tap kit, which is, you know, a, a mirror uh, power uh, tap. And, and with the tap kit, I mean, it gives you the, the little leads to tap into the back of the mirror. I'll show that here in just a second. And if those leads are too big for, uh, for those pins, it gives you an extra set of pins in there um, to be able to do it. So this is gonna be super simple. Um, install, so it won't be a, a long video. Uh, with the radar but I'll show you guys the mount how to how to do the uh, the pin for it which which wires you're looking for um, and then you can kind of see how it, how it looks uh, under the uh, the mirror there in the GT500. so let's, let's just jump to it all right so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, get to the back of the uh, of the mirror there we're gonna pop out the um, the harness and basically what you're going to do is you're going to notice i don't know how well this is going to show up i'm going to do the best i can but closest to the passenger side there's going to be a blue wire and that's going to be your ground and then all the way at the bottom uh on the driver's side there's like a green i want to say it's green and brown uh on the very bottom of this harness and that's going to be your power wire um <clears throat> you got this little clip that holds the the harness in place now i've seen other people taking it off in their videos but i mean i, I from what i see i don't see the point in doing it so um i'm gonna pop that off let's see if we can get a we'll separate the wire a little bit so there you go you can see it so the blue and the other is brown and yellow so blue and brown and yellow both of them are at the bottom Blue is going to be uh, passenger side, brown is going to be driver side, um, and we're going to uh, tap into those, plug it back in, put our mount on, and uh, and then we're going to be good to go. So uh, I'm going to stop it real quick, put in the um, uh, put in the leads real quick, and then we'll come back and we'll test it on the radar detector real quick, and just to make sure uh, that we're getting power. 
So we got it attached in there. Remember I was telling you guys how it came with the the smaller pins just in case the the other ones didn't fit and the, the, the other ones were I mean you were trying to force them into place and um, so we just used the the little adapter there and obviously this cable is really long um, for the uh, for the detector so it came with a couple of uh, wire ties one of them are down here in the floorboard so what we'll do is once we get everything mounted in there we'll take all the extra uh, wire that we have and we'll uh, zip tie it out of the way and just make it super clean. The other thing we could do is we could use, you know, some heat shrink and put over that if we needed to. But I'll be quite honest, I, mean, I, I don't necessarily see the point. Um, I mean, if, if it's if it becomes an issue or, or a bit of an eyesore, I mean, I guess I'll go back and do that. But for now, I think I'm just going to uh, plug it in. We'll check the power real quick and then uh, zip tie it out of the way. Okay, so we're plugged in to the side. We have any power or lights. We need to hit the accessory switch over here. There, let's just set it up here. Put the power on. Just turn that down. Power on. Obviously, it's uh, there we go. So, like I said, ground's gonna be the blue. Power wire will be the um, brown and yellow, and uh, we'll get it all uh, put back in place with the mount here in just a minute, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so as you can see, I uh, I just got the mount sitting up there. It's just kind of finger tight at the moment. I just push the uh, the bracket forward, or really, it's that sleeve that's kind of holding the the wire in place right there. I just slid it forward. Um, <clears throat> I really probably need to get over here on the driver's side. Uh, and get it set. I want it to be just just below uh, the mirror. Um, like I said, I'm gonna get over there on the other side and just make sure um, that I got it positioned right. And then we'll come back over here and uh, like I said, we'll zip tie all this uh, extra wire out of the way and then uh, we should be good to go. So here's what I decided to do. I put a little bit of, of black tape around where the two leads went in. I just thought, hey, we're driving down the road, this thing vibrating, you know, there's no need in giving it, uh, I guess, an opportunity to be able to back out of there. Um, so I just put a little bit of tape there. I wire tied up the extra wire, left my left self just a little bit for plugging in the, the radar detector. And now, like I did last time, I'm gonna put the mount here on this uh, side here. Um, and get that cinch down and then we'll uh we'll button it up all right so we got it all mounted on there <laughs> i like the uh the way that it's uh, sitting i probably mounted it a little bit further back than uh on the mirror mount there than originally uh had it a minute ago uh, that way it sits a little bit more flush with the mirror here in the, the face of it i mean course there you go that's just my personal preference also when I put it uh, further forward the little wire loom was pushing against all the wires and you know kind of binding everything up so it just seemed to work out better so <clears throat> we got it mounted there let's see what it looks like real quick through the window I'm not sure if... so there's the back side of it So, hopefully that works out. Keep myself out of trouble, possibly. But, uh, nice little clean install. <clears throat> Plus, if I want to uh, throw it in my daily, just unplug it. The, the cool thing is, you know, this thing's got that little magnet mount on it. So, you know, I mean, it just pops right off the mount. Um, I don't have that cinched up, so, I mean, that just moved. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, so I've got the little suction mount mounted into um, into my daily, and um, so like I said, if I want to swap it out, it'll be simple enough. But uh, we'll continue to drive it around, let it learn itself. <laughs> There's a that premium service is using that app um it's like 50 dollars a year it might actually come with free service 
Um, I haven't even read through all the literature. It may come with a service, you know, maybe for the first year or something, but um, I probably won't use all that anyway, so it's, it's really not a big deal to me. But uh, there we go. So hopefully we got a little bit of protection. Um, I think there actually is, uh, as I was reading some of the literature too, I mean, it gives you like a no ticket guarantee. I, I, you know, there again, I didn't, I didn't delve into that and, and see what the, what all that is, but, um, Escort 360C, we'll try it out. We'll see how it works. Like I said, in the daily, it seemed to be working pretty good. I like the, the, the way it was learning. Um, so it's not constantly going off, um, and being an annoyance. So, uh, so far, you know, uh, it's been working fine. Um, maybe on my trips, like I was saying on that four lane from the other day where we had all those speed traps set up, we'll see how, how early the detection that, uh, that it actually gives me. Um, and like I said, hopefully it'll keep me out of trouble. So uh, until next time guys.